Hi, this is Warwick again from MFI Flex and in this demo I'm going to show you how to set up loan types that you use within your organization. So we need to go up to the Setup tab, click on that, and now we need to come down to the Products and we want to create a new loan product. So clicking on this takes us to the New Loan Product screen. You can see that there are a lot of fields here. The ones with the red bars are required fields. The other fields are not necessarily required. Now let's start creating this loan. Let's call this one a standard loan and we're going to make the status active and the type of loan product. We have a choice of client or a group. For microfinance we can select this group or you can have it as an individual client. Approval date is not required the loan cycle setup. We can either have same for all the loans or we can select buy loan cycle. We'll have same for all loans. Now the frequency of the loan payment. We have the choice monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, quarterly, a single payment, an annual payment and a semi-annual payment. Let's go for monthly payment. Now we move over to billing method. We've got the choice of either declining balance, flat, interest only, or flexible repayment. For a standard principal and interest, we'd be using the declining balance. We can also attach a funder to this particular loan, but for this example, we'll just make it a very standard loan. If you are doing interest only, you can select the period. For example, if we're working on a monthly basis, if we were having a 12-month loan, we could make it 11 months of interest only. So whatever frequency of payment we select here, in this example monthly, if we put interest only period is 2, that will be 2 months. If we had a frequency of loan payment as weekly, then if we put 52 weeks or 52 in this field it would be an interest only period of 52 weeks so these are connected we're working on monthly then we have the time counting period you have the choice of actual days or month and days month and days meaning 360 as the accounting practice we then come down to the loan amount and we can set up the faults of for this standard loan what is the minimum amount that we will use for this loan so let's call it 1000 and then the maximum amount for this standard loan let's make it 25000 these are the boundaries which you create at this product level in order to create defaults for each of your loans that you then create for your clients. Now we come down to the fee set. We click on the magnifying glass. We've just got the one set up, loan one. Now we come down to installments. What is the minimum number of installments that we want to establish for this standard loan? Let's make it one. What's the maximum number of installments? Let's make it 100 and the default number of installments. So we've got the minimum and maximum. We've got the boundary set up. The default will be when we create this standard loan, whatever we put in this field will by default come up and we'll make the default number of installments 12. Now moving down to interest rate. What's the minimum interest rate? Again, I'll just use wide examples and I'll make minimum interest rate as 1% and the maximum interest rate as 35%. The default interest rate, this is the interest rate that by default when we select this loan product will come up, we'll make it 15%. There is maximum gap between installments and if I 
put my cursor over here the maximum number of days between two installments not required but you can select that we now come down to overdues and we will have a minimum overdue interest rate so let's select that and make that five maximum overdue interest rate let's make that 40 and the default overdue interest rate we will make 10 so these numbers I'm just selecting out of thin air but these are the interest rates which you will decide are appropriate for your business for your clients and for creating at this product level we now move down to the accounting section in the accounting section I've already put in the general ledger account numbers but this is where you set up in conjunction with us we work out how to set up your general ledger and then we use the account numbers created in that general ledger to connect these accounting areas with this particular loan so for example the product loan control account we're looking at account 10,000 and if I just click on the magnifying glass we can see the 10,000 is the assets account and let's have a look at say the product loan loss provision account I'll click on the magnifying glass and we can see that account 40,000 is set up as an expenditure type master account so I've completed these but we um, work with you set up your general ledger and connect the right accounts for this particular loan then we move down to the linker savings product for microfinance you may be required to save certain amounts or have a saving account so we can connect a savings product to this if you wish we then have the grace period and we've got late charge grace period so if I put in two here it means that when the repayment is due we'll give two extra race days before we flag this loan and then moving over to delinquent grace days you can then let's say for example put another two grace days in this grace period section you also have a write-off tolerance amount where you can automate certain criteria to be met and if that criteria is met then the loan will automatically be written off. Once we've completed all of that and the amortization we uh, will leave the same, we can just save this. And you can see that it takes us back to our loan product page and the standard loan that we just created and it gives us all the details that we've just been adding into this loan product. But even once we've created this, we can go in and change the details here so for example if we wanted to change the default number of installments we can just double click on this and change it to 14 and save so the loan product is set up at product level but we can continue to modify that product if and when we need to that completes the loan setup demo but before I go I'll also just show you this clone button to create another loan very quickly we can click on clone which clones the existing loan product that we created and then we can just make the subtle variations so let's say for example we'll call this standard loan 2 we can change this to a weekly frequency and we can change the minimum amount to 500 and the maximum amount to 10,000 we can leave the installments and the interest the overdues the same the accounting is all taken care of the grace periods we can quickly go in and change these if necessary or alternatively if we're happy with all of that we can just save it so that's a, a quick way of creating another loan product which has very similar criteria to the first loan product thanks for watching